In less than two weeks, NASA will launch Exploration Flight Test 1. No astronauts will be riding the big rocket, but it will be a giant leap toward putting NASA back in the business of human spaceflight. And a local aerospace company is playing a major role in the mission. This mission is the first step toward launching astronauts into space from American soil, something we've not been able to do since the shuttles retired. And not just quick flights to the space station. This next-gen spacecraft will be capable of taking astronauts to the moon, Mars, asteroids. We're going to put people back into space, but not only into low Earth orbit, but really go beyond. Aerojet Rocketdyne, the Rancho Cordova Aerospace Company that played a key role in getting us to the moon 45 years ago. We have a liftoff. Is now a major player in taking us back to space. A lot of people don't know, you know, it's it's kind of the, the quiet guy sitting out here building rocket engines. On this test flight of the Orion spacecraft, the main rocket engines, the upper stage motors, and the thrusters that maneuver Orion in space and return it to Earth were all built by Aerojet Rocketdyne. Our stuff has to work every time, all the time. Sam Wiley is Director of Human Space Development. A 99.9% .9 day is a bad day, you know, because that tenth of a percent, and if you don't get it right, um, you, you could lose a crew. The Orion spacecraft is called Apollo on steroids, and not since Apollo have we launched a capsule designed to carry humans so deeply into space. Stressful from a lot of sense, but um, it's pretty exciting. Orion will orbit 3,600 miles above the Earth and make a blazing re-entry into the atmosphere just as if it were returning from the moon or Mars. A dozen of these thrusters, partly built in Rancho Cordova, will steer the Orion crew capsule on its return to Earth. And these are used for all the maneuvering as we skip into the atmosphere and make our way back down through and down to the water. The launch abort rockets that would pull the crew capsule to safety if something goes wrong during launch were also built by Sacramento aerospace workers. Sam and others will be watching the launch from Kennedy Space Center. I'm going to be there, a nervous wreck, butterflies, you know, want to watch this thing go. The rocket that will eventually launch astronauts into deep space will be taller and more powerful than the mighty Saturn V. Aerojet Rocketdyne will build rocket engines and thrusters for those missions as well. New materials and manufacturing methods could make the return to space cheaper, more reliable, and hopefully safer. History's got a lot of tough lessons, so we're always relooking at those lessons learn to make sure that we're covering ourselves as we as we push forward. Apollo was focused solely on landing men on the moon. The Eagle has landed. Orion could go many places and the destinations will be chosen later. The first step is getting off the ground. Another launch three years from now will send the Orion spacecraft to the moon and back without a crew.